Uh, no, my lion hasn't seemed to have found any massacre or death just yet. He was in this block, and we came through it via a path that was different from his, taking a chance, hoping that he would pop out around here. But we didn't want to try and follow him through the thick stuff that he was going. And, uh, well, he hasn't arrived just yet. It is entirely possible that he has gone to sleep in the middle of that block, which is a little irritating, to say the least. There is no alarm calling, no distress being indicated by any bird or other species. There is an wildebeest and wildebeest, a wildebeest over there, which we can look at while I scan the fringes of the woodland here for the emerging tawny mane of our big male lion. But I do not see him anywhere. I think he walked in there, and as soon as he lost sight of us, thought, ha, 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 and lay down and went to sleep. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, there's a wildebeest looking deeply undistressed by life. So he doesn't think there's a male lion coming this way. And as you can see, the Mara is not the only place with great swathes of clearing around. Here we are in clearings with the wildebeest. And uh, it's the one animal that for love nor money, Brent will be unable to find at the moment. You can find every other kind of predator that there might be on planet Earth, but uh, no wildebeest at the moment. They will be coming up from the south fairly soon into the Mara. Uh, this lion, I'm afraid, has gone, as they say in game drive language, a lullapansy. He's gone sleep down. There he is. He came out basically where we came out, Sib. Just want to be slightly the other side of the light, correct, Seb? Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. Or there? Yeah. Come, boy, come. Now, White Daddy Irwin, you want to know if a lion would scavenge another lion's food? Absolutely, and they do all the time. That is what a male lion is doing when he takes from his females. That is scavenging. No two, I mean, there are no two ways about it. There's no finer way or no fine way to put that. The male lion, when his female, ha, ha, when his pride has killed, he is scavenging from them. Oh, that's wonderful. That's what you want to see. Male lion coming towards you. It is very beautiful, Louise. That is correct especially across grassland like this. Smelling the air all the time still. Isn't that special? Now, as you said that, driving up to leopards, that's your name, he looked, he swung off to the other side. You said, would he take that wildebeest 
on alone. He would. I just don't think in these conditions he would. I think you'll find that these conditions are completely suboptimal for a male lion wanting to hunt something. And he therefore would not be doing a great deal of hunting on his own. It's too bright. That wildebeest will run away from him. What a gorgeous, gorgeous shot of a lion. He's heading due south to where his kill was. He can definitely smell it. Unless, you know what, there were two male lions on that kill apparently, unless he wasn't one of them. And maybe only now has he picked up on the scent of the kill. Now he's not far from the boundary, so Seb, when, you, I, when you're ready, I'm gonna move. He's just heading, the wildebeest now starting to alarm call at him. Okay, let's go. Uh, he's got, there are the vultures in the tree. He's got one more road to cross after this one. He'll try and do a repeat performance. No, we can't. I'm afraid this is as far as we can go, Seb. <laughs> so he's now crossing the boundary into Mala Mala. Let me get my bonds out of the way. There are some Impala. I'll just tell you about them while we, you will look at the lion. There are some Impala to the south there now looking at him. There are some vultures which we'll show you shortly. He's now in Mala Mala. Sometimes it does pay off to sit with a flat cat, quite often not, but today it did. Dustin, difficult to say, I mean, I have read these statistics, but I'm not sure that I remember exactly what it was. You say, compared to the human being, how strong is a lion's nose? I don't know about a lion specifically. A hyena apparently can smell about 200 times more effectively than we can. Now, what that actually means, I'm not sure. But I think it probably means the distance from which they will smell something. So they are that much more effective. And I mean, I, certainly for a leopard, I've watched Mvula the leopard. And there the vultures are. I've watched Mvula the leopard track a zebra's carcass about four kilometers. He suddenly picked it up on the wind, he turned and he ran four kilometers to the north and we didn't know what he was doing. And eventually he found the zebra carcass. We ran in a straight line towards it. Right, well that was gorgeous. Shall I just back up?